So just tell me a little bit about some of the experiences you've had in the house. Well, my experiences since I've been here uh, have been more related to the way I feel in my body. Um, I get like the chills, the goosebumps. Uh, about six months ago, the first time I felt something really, really strong was when I went upstairs in the middle room up here on the second floor. And I walked in there and the chills were so strong that my legs felt like they were going to like almost like squeeze together, like almost hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, I just I just felt kind of weird for a while and it took a while for it to go away. And then I walked to another area and it hit me all over again. Um, mm-hmm. So this happens to me a couple of times. Uh, camera wise, we catch things on camera all the time. Last night, the orchard went crazy, just making the cameras go off and on all night long. Uh, second floor. Same. Second floor or foyer. As soon as you get up the staircase right there, the main active room is as soon as you get to the staircase, that right corner room, mm-hmm. uh, that's the one that has the most activity. So that's where you see a lot of it. Uh, t- the second floor, you yeah, said? Yeah, they did the. The spirit communication yeah the cameras have night vision so yeah the orbs pick up and i've been able to tell the difference between bugs mm. and tell the difference between orbs now. right because at first i was seeing other things that i didn't know what it was like just bugs right? yeah so orbs. Um, the other things that we've gone through is uh mirrors fall off the wall we had a big mirror fall off a huge mirror fall off the wall on the second floor up there wow. um a picture in the room that you said the nursery yeah a picture fell off of there um with the moment she was all over the floor wow um when the mirror broke it broke, broke a clod um other than that we caught like a an apparition looks like casper the ghost and he was coming out of the second floor room the pink roof um he was like right on the side of the door there uh-huh. we caught him on the camera and he has like a weird shiny head and he's kind of white looking like kind of like casper right they really do look like them weird yeah. now um do they taunt you at night when you're trying to sleep at all or anything no, I'm just uncomfortable a little bit because you know they're here. It's, it's mm-hmm. not like evil or nothing like that. It's just just no one is no doubt. I mean, pretty much uh, what we've experienced since we've been here. Mm-hmm. Um, that we had a lady the other day. Um, she was getting food from next door at the church, and she said we weren't going there. Mm-hmm. And she said there's a man on the third floor, and he has a baby, and he's looking out the window. He had pulled the window open. Yeah, wow. I just got home, so there was nobody here. It was just being him. He was telling me that she got scared, and so. Uh, she has a gift. Yeah, she she sees things and uh-huh. things and those things, as she was telling me. So is there a bigger sick man up there holding a baby? In the <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it would make sense because the doctor's office she has a baby on the next floor. Is that wasn't our living quarters? Yeah, the one is after our living quarters on their floor, <laughs> which would have been part of the dormitories. Correct. Okay, so that's wild. And you've had psychics in here before. Can you describe to us what that was like? I wasn't here when she was here because uh, it was for a recording. Uh, we had uh, some friends of ours that did it overnight because they have a, a paranormal show. Mm-hmm. And um, they had their psychic come in. She was just telling a little bit about the some guy that was here mm-hmm. that kind of ran the place and didn't let a lot of the children talk because he was kind of fucking. Mm. Okay. And did horrible things to the children, I guess, or pets or something like that. But do we have any proof of anything like there, that? We have some newsletters and stuff like that. Um, they had did an interview of one of the ladies who lived here uh, when she was a child and was perfect. Why wow. she um, validated a lot of the stuff that had happened to her uh, and happened to the children here, leaving you know for ice cream, hmm. so, like for ice cream, some of them. Yeah. So a lot of these kids are just really sad and have died here too. Yeah, a lot of them were sick. And the house was vacant for how long? Like the, the time it was alive, about thirty years. It's built in 1890. It was vacant for about 30, 40 years. I've been spotting so why it's coming because there was some that's really it was a lot of time. Mm-hmm. There was almost a point where they're gonna to tear it down, demolition. Crazy thing is that it's not like the, the spirits push you out. So I don't know why it was vacant for. Mm-hmm. See, the, the building has had a sad existence being empty. My sister stays here. When she first came here, she 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 didn't like that room. That one I told you when we go right up there. Right. Spirit communication. She would not go in that room at all. And then our living quarters, she won't go in that room either. Is she pretty sensitive to yeah, those things? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My whole family has keep that sensitivity. Now, tell her something. Aside from from the paranormal, it has a lot of history. And that's that's that's. And a neighbor across the street told us that there's a cave system underneath that they um, put all the dirt in there and fill it up. But there's a cave system that goes from here to Mission, do you say? Or from the from oh, yeah, supposed That would be crazy. Allegedly, it goes from the Basilica through underneath us 
and then towards the center of the cathedral, and then underneath, like, main plaza, the sitting quarters for uh, city council. And then this was validated where the tunnels also cross across to what used to be Cadillac Park. Mm. Yeah, we had the owner of Cadillac Park. He said he's been in the tunnels underneath. Well, so supposedly there's this like underground system in the cemetery and has uh -huh. very private. One of the interesting things with this home was it was built by so, well, the foundation was created by the women of the Mace. It's uh, it has a really. It was created by the Freemasons. The Freemason owned the land that was donated. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of stories about the Freemasons, the Knight Templars, and yeah. all of that. So the tunnels make sense. The sad part to that, though, is mm. that there was a case, a cases of children being abused and those things happening. That that's what he was telling you: take them out for ice cream. But right. They were. Not taking about fire cream and that kind of stuff, you know, it got messy. But right, and one of the reasons why they closed and had to rename and move away, and because of that, right. Um, and they lost, they lost some children. Very early on, they lost the children because they got sick. Mm. Those sick like things. You know, no, it's but the history is pretty, pretty profound. Isn't it? Yeah, you start looking and looking and looking, and it's, you'll dive a rabbit hole. You could do it all day. Very cool. That's very much it. Though. Awesome. And then there's some original, if you do some digging, there's some original pictures out there of the space.